late President General of Hanese Ndibo Worldwide, Chief Imadali Wanyang, commenced with tributes by members of the Social Cultural Group at its headquarters in Enugu, as well as Lagos State. Days of tributes and service of songs were also held at the National Worship Center Abuja and the Cathedral of Transfiguration of Our Lord, Katsu, including the Oriental House where the deceased family members, friends and associates, the clergy, political class, business associates, and captains of industry paid glowing tributes to the late Iwanyangu. We're here today celebrating somebody that has done well for humanity. For us, we lost the pathfinder. Also featured were hymns and anthems rendition, which the deceased had passion for during his lifetime. Iwanyangu National, a football club founded by the late chief Iwanyangu, which is now Heartland Football Club, also held a novelty match at the Dananyam Stadium Owere to honor its founder. The body of the Igbo leader was later received at the government house by Governor Hope Uzodema from where it proceeded for the final burial rites. <laughs> A funeral service held at the Cathedral Church of St. Matthew Peter in the Kedu local government area attracted an array of dignitaries, including President Bola Tinobu, who was represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Church Akume, representative of the Senate President, serving and former Southeast Governors, APC National Chairman and former Nigeria First Lady, Dem Eshens Jonathan, while commiserating with the bereaved family, Igbo State and Ohanese Ndibo worldwide, President Tunubu described late Iwanyangu as a nationalist who championed nation building, promoted peace and unity of the country across tribes and religions. <laughs> Chief inspired all of us in so many ways. He was a great soul, a great man. Somebody that we're all proud of. Someone that gave us an identity. To immortalize the Igbo leader, Governor Uzodema named the new Ultramodern International Conference Center after him. <laughs> the primate and metropolitan of all Nigeria, Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Henry Ndokoba urged all to live a life of service to God and humanity. The remains of the late elder statesman were interred in his compound. His wife and children, among whom is the chief executive officer and editor-in-chief, champion newspapers, Wadio Nyakanwa, speak on the life and times of their late father. He wasn't just my husband, but he was my family. He was my father. He treated me like a daughter. He was my mentor, a spiritual leader. He loved his people. It's a pity we lost him now when we need his counsel, when we need him more. But God knows best. The late Ohaneze leader died at the age of 82 and will be greatly missed by his family, the Boris, and the nation at large.